Chris Salter with MLC CAD Systems. In this video, we're going to take a dive into bookmarks on the 3D Experience platform. I want to take this opportunity to help you understand how bookmarks fit in the portfolio of applications that the platform provides us, and how bookmarks can help you organise your data. We'll set up a dashboard and we'll use bookmarks as well as a couple of other apps, and then we'll use these in a workflow so you can fully understand the benefits that this app provides us. Let's go ahead and dig in. To begin, I'll just show that dashboards can be accessed from my apps in the 3D Experience platform. My preference, however, is to configure a dashboard that allows me to combine supporting apps all in one place. So I'm going to back out of this and start from the beginning. Let's log into the 3D Experience platform so we can put together some data management tools that give me the information I need all in one place. I'm going to build a dashboard here that will house three apps. Those will be Bookmarks, Collaborative Space, and 3D Play. Let's start off by creating a new tab on my dashboard. And in this case, I'll just call it Bookmark Tutorial. We'll click on the compass to access all our apps, then pull the one we need into our dashboard and customize the layout that makes navigation simple. The first app that I will add is the Bookmark Editor and I'll lay this on the left-hand side of my dashboard. I'm then going to add the collaborative space by dragging 3D space and putting that into the top right-hand corner of my dashboard. And finally, I'll add the 3D player to the bottom right. Now we have a great looking dashboard that works well for document management. In the top right-hand corner, we have our collaborative space, which can be thought of as a big catch-all for all our documents while working in this collaborative space. On the left-hand side, we have our bookmarks, where we can bring some organization to our files and our documents. And in the bottom right, we have 3D Play, where we can preview our files. Now that's complete, let's look at some of the great tools and capabilities of the Bookmark app. I'll minimize the app panel and begin to build some bookmarks. As you can see, at the bottom of the bookmark section is a toolbar, and from here we can access all the tools that this app provides us. From here, we can build out bookmark hierarchy, change the way it's displayed, as well as many other things. I'm going to create a new bookmark by clicking on the new bookmark icon. And I'm going to rename this bookmark as Bellows Order 1. I'll then repeat this action to build the folder structure that represents a pretty typical scenario for handling a new customer project. One way to think of this is it being like a Windows folder structure that will organize and separate your documentation related to the project or customer order. So in my example, I'm going to create sub bookmarks for design data, documents related to the sales process, and one last folder for our technical publications. Now our structure is in place, we will go ahead and add documents to the relevant folders. And I'm going to show you some different ways to associate files from different places to our bookmarks. In this first example, I'm showing how I can upload an entire folder from a local drive on my PC. This is all my sales information, and I'll just simply upload that to the platform. Well, unfortunately, I had the top level bookmark selected when I uploaded this folder. However, just like in Windows Explorer, a simple drag and drop enables me to add the contents to the right place. My technical publication was created with SolidWorks Composer, and that file already resides in my collaborative space. So in this case, I will select the Tech Publications folder and add existing content. This opens up the powerful platform search tool. And in here, I can type a portion of the file name that I'd like to retrieve. Your collaborative space will likely contain a lot of data, so the powerful and responsive search tools will provide a great way to retrieve files in an efficient manner. Selecting the publication from the search results and clicking the OK button adds the publication to the correct bookmark. Now my design data needs to be created, and in this case, I just want to quickly point out that I, if the file did reside in my collaborative space, I could simply drag and drop it into the bookmark. With this being a new order for a bellows, I'm going to return to SolidWorks, and in here, 
I'll run a new dry wax project to create the new variation of the bellows that suits the customer's specific needs. Once the drive works has configured my design data, I'll upload this to the platform. I want to first of all make sure I'm working in the correct collaborative space, which is a vault named CS Vault. I'll right mouse click on the top level assembly and choose to save with options. Clicking the copy button takes the files from my local cache and uploads them to the cloud storage collaborative space. Once those files are copied to the collaborative space, I can then save the files with bookmarks, so they're uploaded and organised all at the same time. Returning back to the platform and clicking on the design data bookmark, we can see that all the CAD files have been added. So just to summarise, what we now have is all our data related to this order organised into the correct logical space to make it easy to access and retrieve. My dashboard shows all my files in the collaborative space. In the upper right hand corner, I can see all the files that are in this space. But all that is, is just a big bucket of data. The bookmark allows me to organise this data and make it more manageable. In the bottom right, I can preview any CAD files or technical publications. From the bookmarks itself, I can simply right mouse over any file and choose to open the file with markup tools or in the CAD program. If any documents get into the wrong place, they can simply be removed from the right mouse menu. This takes them out of the bookmark itself, but doesn't delete them from the platform. Other familiar tools are available as well, such as copy, cut, paste, file attributes can be accessed and updated, and the bookmark view can be modified to suit your preferences. The bookmark tree can also be printed or exported. And while the lifecycle and collaboration tabs are worthy of their own tutorials, these can both be accessed from the bookmarks tab. So by now, hopefully everyone's seen the great benefits of the Bookmark app. With that said, let's look at some quick and easy ways of creating bookmarks for your future projects. I have in my bookmarks tree a bookmark named template. This is configured with all the sub bookmarks required for a new project or order. Rather than go through the manual process of creating this structure every time it's needed, I can simply copy and paste from the bookmarks editor. Once pasted, I can rename it with the correct name for my project. So let's complete this tutorial by summarising the benefits of using this great tool on the 3D Experience platform. And let's answer the really important question that we should all be asking. What does it do for me? Well, Bookmarks brings organisation to your data that's stored in the cloud and accessible to any person regardless of location providing you grant them access to your collaborative space. It's going to help with navigation and the ret retrieval of data when you need it, allowing you to concentrate your efforts on something other than managing data. Well, that concludes our video, guys. Thank you for joining me. I hope this video has been useful to you. Again, I'm Chris Souter with MLC Cat Systems. Hope you have a wonderful day.